Hello and welcome, soul friends and soul families. I'm Yashar, and it's time for another Catcher Guidance reading. Today we're reading for our Scorpios, and we're starting out with a pre-shuffled spread. The overall message of the reading is our Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, in the efforts of saving time today, we have pre-shuffled. Oh, I know you guys hate that. Y'all wanted to hear me make it clap, <laughs> but not today. Okay, and we have our recent past, the Ten of Wands. In the recent past, we have the Ten of Wands. In the present placement, we have the Seven of Swords. And in the... Near future placement, we have the Knight of Pentacles, all of whom are in reverse. Okay. So, what's going on here? We've got the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So, Scorpio. Why are we seeing the Queen of Pentacles for you, Scorpio? We're seeing the Queen of Pentacles because Scorpio has decided that Scorpio is sure, okay? Scorpio is considering everything that has transpired. Scorpio is considering everything that they've done with the works of their own hands, everything that they've learned to do, everything that they've learned that they are. And they're making a decision. And what is that decision that Scorpio has made? Scorpio has learned to value self. Scorpio's being unburdened in the recent past. They say, you know what? I'm not going to have it anymore. I am not dealing with it. What is the it that Scorpio wasn't going to deal with anymore? What is the it that Scorpio considered and realized that they had to let go of? Oh. oh, okay. So the Ten of Wands is the Scorpio being unburdened. And being unburdened, we have the Justice card in reverse. And so that's injustice. <laughs> injustice. If Scorpio, Scorpio say, you know what? I'm not being the victim anymore. I am no longer being the victim. I'm not having it. I'm stepping into my own power. That's what Scorpio said. That was the decision that was made. And so along with that decision, here you are. There's Scorpio. Now, that's the seven of swords in reverse. Upright. We're tiptoeing off, right? Well, Scorpio said, I'm not tiptoeing anymore. No, no. I'm not tiptoeing anymore. I'm not being all up in my head about things. I'm speaking my peace. No more walking on eggshells around here. Okay? That's what's going on. Whatever I choose to hold in, I hold in. But whatever I choose to let go of, that's what I'm going to let go of. And you're just going to have to deal with it. That's what's going on. Let's see if we can get a little clarification on that. That's right. Yes, you know, Scorpio thought about it. Scorpio thought about it, considered everything from the past and how everything went. And this, these actions are a result of the decision that was made based on the past. Scorpio said, no, I've, I've worked too hard and I've been alone doing all the work by myself. I was, okay, I did that work. And, you know, Hey, I'm going to communicate now. That's what I see here. The Nine of Wands, communication. I've, I'm going to communicate. I'm not tiptoeing around anymore. I'm not going to bite my tongue, hold my tongue for anyone. I'm letting it all hang out. That's what I'm going to do. Because, you know, I value me. I value my peace and my serenity. Okay? And in order for me to have my peace, this is what I have to do. 
Okay, so moving into the near future, how's this affecting the near future for our Scorpio? We see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh oh, flipped over the cards. No. <laughs> Here we go. All right, and what's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse saying to us? <laughs> well, let's go find out, shall we? Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot card. Ooh, that is the, the Cancer card. So some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Why not Scorpio and cancer connections, huh? That's not odd at all, is it? Not odd at all. Not even in the least little bit. All right, so the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This night, um, Scorpio is basically saying, hey, <sighs> movement. I don't want to move on. I really don't want to move on. I value this situation. But Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You know, if I'm going to hold on to this coin that's dangling here from my hand, then I may have to go on with my travels. If I want to hold on to my peace, my serenity, this newfound sense of, um, ooh, uh, I don't know, self-appreciation <laughs> or something like that. You know, this newfound sense of self. If I don't, if I want to hold on to that, then I may have to move along. I may have to move along. I may not be able to hold on uh, to this coin being offered by this cancer being, if you're dealing with the cancer, that is, you guys. Um, what else am I seeing here? Um... I think I see possibly some some Libra energy, possibly some uh, what is this? Possibly some um, Sagittarian energy, but yes, this is this is what I see here. So that's what's going on right now. Let me gather myself. <laughs> now, do we have any advice, real quick, for our Scorpio in the midst of all of this? Let's check and see. Any advice for my Scorpios in the midst of all of this? Okay, Scorpio, continue to build on this new piece and this new perspective that you found that's allowed you, that after so long, so long, it was a long time coming. Continue to build on that with the Eight of Pentacles. Continue to add to that. Continue to work on that. You are, it's not over yet. You know, you've, you've begun to build on yourself and your um, you're learning new things and learning new skills. And all these things are building you up to be the strong queen of swords that you're meant to be. Now, this queen of swords energy is that Scorpio is actually learning to balance. You know, Scorpio is a very emotive energy, very powerful in emotion. And it can often be whew, very unbalanced because of that. But with this new logical ability, you know what I mean? This ability to communicate and think. This this is all coming from Scorpio building self-confidence and whatnot because they've been working on their self, okay? So continuing to build on that allows Scorpio to grow in this way. And when they are ready, they will be able to have... Um, a, a balanced and healthy relationship with someone okay yes they'll be able to have a balanced and healthy relationship with someone and this is whether this is in business 
in relate loving relationships or whatever that uh what whatever have you. Scorpio is learning to balance. Scorpio is learning to um to have balanced unions or balanced uh contracts or interactions, if you will. Okay, and 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 they're also pouring themselves into their creativity and and mixing it up with with supportive partners. That's what Scorpio was looking for. Scorpio says, I know what I want going forward because I've been working on myself. I've been building myself up and I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling sure. I'm feeling like um much more fortified than I was in the past. And so I'm ready. I'm ready to have balanced, healthy situations, okay, in which two partners support one another. Mm -hmm. You see that healthy symbol right there in the middle? Mm -hmm. The K to kiss? Yes. So that's the advice for Scorpio to seek balance, seek a healthy balance, balance um, 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 your, your passionate energy with your intellect, your intelligent energy, and use your intuition. And yes, you can have that which you are looking for, my dear Scorpio. I love this reading for you. It's fabulous, magnificent. If you guys would like to know more, um, or if this wasn't your story and you need uh, more information for your story, because you know this was for the Scorpio Collective and it was just for whoever needed to hear uh, their message most, um, you can always hit me up for a personal reading. My, if we're on YouTube, my information is down below. If we're on Instagram, you can DM me. Or you can hit the link and go to my YouTube channel and you can see all my pricings down below. Also on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you, Scorpios. As always, Yashar is out. Peace, guys.